Okay, yes, Evan. Come into the classroom, please, taking your seat and completing the Do Now activity. Pace and purpose, thank you. Completing the Do Now activity, completing the red questions on the board. Making sure our prisms are out and on green, thank you. Lovely, so completing the red questions on the board. Hi Dixons, I'm Tom Halewood, Assistant Vice Principal at Dixons Trinity Academy, where I am today. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel, like, comment and share using the hashtag Dixons Open Source. At Dixons Trinity and some of our other academies, students use prisms throughout their lessons. As leaders, we have made the decision to use them too facilitate effective communication between students and teachers, particularly where we have a no hands up policy, develop students resilience and autonomy, gather objective student feedback to support effective formative assessment in the classroom by helping teachers check students understanding and respond appropriately. Each classroom is set up so that every desk has a basket loaded with necessary equipment, including prisms. This setup ensures that learning time is maximized. As part of our entrance routine, students are expected to take their seats, get their learning equipment out straight away, which includes setting up their prism on green, and to start the Do Now task. After a teacher has explained a task and before they set their students off on the task, a prism check can be carried out. This is where the student turns their prism to amber if they have a question or need an instruction clarifying before they start. This is a very useful indicator for how clear your instructions are and helps to quickly identify whether the students are clear on what they are expected to do before they start a task. You will see in the next clip how I was able to clarify the task before they were asked to start. Thank you, Year 7. Lovely starts on those red questions. OK, Samir. So what seems to be the problem is that with the first red questions, is it, you've got a question on these. What's your question? To signal if a student needs extra support or challenge throughout a lesson, a student will move from green to amber if they are struggling with the task, which signals to the teacher that a student may need some extra support. Students will only move their prism to red if they are completely stuck. We encourage students to work through their thinking before changing their prism, but this is a useful communication tool, particularly where we have a no hands up policy, where teachers target their questions such as using cold call to find out what the students don't know. Using prisms encourages students' independence and creates a learning environment where students take ownership of their learning, but know that they will get the support they need from their teacher. This discrete form of communication between the student and teacher also means that other students are not distracted and it is an efficient communication exchange. As well as signaling a student's need for extra support, prisms can be used to signal where extra challenge is needed. Of course, using prisms to gain subjective feedback from the student needs to be tested by the teacher to ensure the accuracy of what the student is reporting. But like anything, the use of this strategy relies on explaining the rationale clearly to the students, setting aside time to practice it so the students know how the use of the prism is benefiting their learning. In the next clip, you will see how a student uses their prism to ask for support when they are working on an independent silent study task. Lovely start, Year 7, completing those red questions. You okay, Majahid? So once we remove the red, can we move on to yellow? Teachers also encourage students to use their prisms to ask questions by turning them to amber. This could be throughout a lesson or in a particular question and answer section of a lesson. It is important that opportunities to ask questions are built into a lesson to help clarify student thinking and to unpick any misconceptions. To gather objective feedback, teachers can also use prisms to gather objective information. For example, this could be to gain an overview of marks achieved by their class on a low stakes quiz, which may inform the next part of a lesson. For example, whether a reteach of a topic is needed, or it can inform how a teacher groups the students together to work collaboratively, 
or it can help to determine whether extra challenge is needed. In the next clip, you will see how I ask students to use their prisms, which then informs my decision to lead a breakout group for those who need extra support on a topic, whilst the rest of the class continue to work on an independent task. Okay, yes, I'm bringing that to a close, putting your whiteboard pens down and tracking me at the front. Lovely. Okay, so the answers have now come up on the board and I would like you to check your answers now, please. Just double check your answers and give yourself a score out of eight. Super. Now I'd like you to put your whiteboard pens down, please. tracking this way and now we're going to use our prisms to show how many we got correct so if you got between zero and four you're going to turn your prism to red don't do it yet just when everyone else does so if you got between zero and four you're going to turn your prism to red if you got five or six right turn your prism to amber and if you got seven or eight right turn your prism to green turn your prisms now please Okay, bit of a mix, but that's good to see, okay? Everyone tracking this way and listening up carefully. If you got your prism on red, I'm gonna come and speak to you in a moment and tell you what we're gonna do next. If your prism was on amber, I want you to move on to the amber questions when I tell you. And if your prism was turned to green, you can move on to the green questions that are on the board and they'll stretch you a little bit further. So those with the red prisms, I'm gonna come speak to you now. Everybody else, you know which task you're moving on to. Whiteboard pens up. Off we go, thank you. Okay, boys, can you just track this way first, please? Okay, so this first set of questions, I know that you probably found some of them a little bit trickier, and that's okay. We're going to have a bit of a repractice. Okay, so I hope that you found this video useful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I look forward to seeing you soon.